Yeah. But and I know uh, at the same point uh, what we are doing is is really wrong. If if that would have been happened to my family, uh, I would have been very angry as well. Why? Right. So yeah, dude. yes, sure. on the same point, we do know that that this is wrong. But yeah, sometimes life gives you no choice, right? Yeah, I I mean we always have a choice, right? Yeah. Yeah, we do. We do. We do. In today's video, I was searching the internet and came across a scam with a security message stating that my computer had a Trojan virus. I called the 800 number from the message and found myself talking to a tech support scammer claiming to work for Windows. He connected to my computer and ran a fake security scan and allegedly my firewall had been destroyed and critical window processes were compromised. I went along with his lie for a while until I decided to confront him. And it was from that point the call took a very different direction. Thank you for calling in so Oji. You are speaking to Sam. How may I help you? Hi hey Sam, I'm having some trouble with my computer. There's some type of Windows Defender security window that popped up a bit ago. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, sure. Could you please confirm me? Do you see any any kind of error? I see a threat detected Trojan spyware. Okay, and may I ask you what you were doing on your computer when you got this problem? Sure. Um, I was just surfing the web like I normally do. Um, videos and reading some articles check my bank kind of standard stuff okay do you remember clicking on any kind of advertisement or any kind of suspicious link which you might be not aware of uh it's possible yeah it's possible i'm not really i mean i click on ads once in a while you know if it looks like it's something that could be interesting to me okay so that could be the problem sure. why your computer has detected some kind of trojan viruses because okay. The link which you might have been, uh, you know, or might have clicked on, that was not safe, not secure, right? Oh, so, okay. not to worry, let me just go ahead and quickly get you connected to the Microsoft servers so that we can diagnose the problem and according to that, we'll fix it for you. What do you need me to do? All right, so I'll provide you some simple instructions which you need to follow on your computer. So, for okay. this, uh, I request you please have a look on your keyboard. And sure. on your keyboard, on the very left bottom corner, on the left hand side, you will find a Windows key with a four square flex on it. Do you see that key? I do. Please press that key and hold it down. Okay, and then what? And while holding the Windows key down, push letter R, R as in Roger, at the same time together, both the keys. Okay. And let the keys go and let me know if you find something new coming up on the screen. Yep, I see a box that popped up here. It says run. All right. Under that box, next to open, uh, is there anything written in that box or it is blank? It's blank. All right, sir. So you need to type in under that box www three w dot letter a as in apple, mm -hmm. letter n as in Nancy, mm -hmm. y as in Yankee. Yep. D as in dog, E as in echo, S as in Sam, K as in kilo, any desk, it's all one word, mm -hmm. dot com. Okay. Then hit the enter key on your keyboard and let me know if you see something new coming up. Yep, I see a any desk website. Right. Do you see download now? I do. You want me to download? Sorry. Yes, please click on download now. Okay. It's downloading. And once you click on download uh, now, the file will get downloaded onto your uh, computer. On the left bottom corner, you will see anydesk.exe. Do you okay. see that key? I do. Or do you see that file? I do. You need to double click on it. Sure. Once you double click on it, let me know what comes up. It says your address and a Which bunch of numbers. Absolutely correct. Okay. So just give me one minute. Okay. 
Okay, now you need to let me know the key. 494-238-029. Okay, so as we are getting connected to the Microsoft servers, uh, you will be getting a security warning on your computer screen as a prompt. So okay. please check your screen and if you see something, um, uh, you know, I trust this call, I'm aware of the risk, you need to check all the boxes okay. and then hit accept. Already. Two times. Okay, except. Then if you see okay, allow, or yes, or accept, you need to click on all the positive options. Already, one moment here. You will see on the screen, uh, it says allow access. Yep. Click on it, please. Yep. It's just really slow. Then you will see a window which says Microsoft Server. You need to minimize that window, please. Okay. Once you minimize the window, you will see Install Any Desk. You need to click on it. Say that again. You see Install Any Desk. I do. Okay. Great. Once we'll click on install, let me know what you see next. Okay. You need to click on install and then you will see a window uh, which will comes up uh, like welcome to Windows, you know, 7 and index 7 or something. It says would you like to install any desk printers? Click on install. Okay. Okay. Then you need to, uh, you know, do you see somewhere it says your address? The any desk page? Um, yes. Right. On that window on the right hand side, just next to the, you know, just down the cross, you will see four lines on the right upper corner. Do you see that? I do. You need to click on set password. Okay. Okay. Then one. Once you'll click on set password, on the same window on the bottom, you will see enable unattendant access. You know, you will see uh, on, on the very top, you will see interactive access. Yep. Then, yep. uh, Below that you will see permissions. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then below that you will see permission yeah. profile. I got you. Buddy. Yes. Okay. That's you it. need to enter the password that is capital A. Then lowercase p, p as in Papa, two times. Okay. Number one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Then you need to confirm the same password capital A. Lowercase p two times one two three four five. Okay. Then click on apply. Okay. Great. So once you do that, that's how we are connected to the Microsoft servers. So now just leave your mouse, leave your computer, sit back and relax. If you okay. see something new coming up on the screen, do not touch. Okay. No problem. Let me just quickly go ahead and check what exactly it happens to your computer. According to that, we'll fix it for you. Sounds good. I appreciate your help. Thank you. Um, my screen is black. Yes, because we are running this scan to check what exactly it happens. We are diagnosing. Okay. <laughs> and may I ask you, sir, which browser you use the most? I use Chrome typically. Chrome, okay. Mm -hmm. Any idea what's going on here? So we are just running the scan and once okay. the scan will get completed, we'll get to know. Okay. How long does the scan typically take? It will take at least three to four minutes. Okay.
Okay. What's this? We are running scan, as I just told you. Okay. So far, I can understand uh, that your firewall has been broken. Uh, okay. You know, the firewall security of your computer has been damaged. At the time when you were online, you might have clicked on some link which was not safe, not secure. So with okay. the help of that link, your computer has picked up some kind of dangerous viruses which okay. have damaged the internal properties of the Microsoft uh, softwares, all right? So now when they damage the Microsoft softwares and the fire, they have damaged the firewall security, so now they have got the access of your computer indirectly and they are trying to get all your information. They are trying to monitor your activity all the time, whatever you do on the computer, whatever you do on the computer, because all your devices are connected at one place. Hey, I guess that is connected to the same Wi-Fi. You were kind of breaking up there the past minute or so. Um, I got you right around something about a virus on my computer. Right. I'm saying uh, your computer picked up some kind of dangerous viruses online. Yeah. With the help of those viruses, uh, you know, yeah. the people uh, now you have got, you know, you have given access to other people to get connect to your computer. So that? that's how your computer has detected that there are some uh, other people from different countries that are did, trying to connect get, your computer. How did, how, did and, they get, how did they get access to the computer? Because the viruses which, you know, got into your computer, they have damaged the internal securities and the softwares no, of I mean, the computer. How also, did the they firewall. get access? No, I mean, but how? What did I do that they... They got access to my computer. Have you heard about the ransomware virus, which was a very big attack in the United States? Even the bank computers were uh, damaged sure. or hacked. Uh, absolutely. I mean, right. I Those mean, are the viruses that, you that your computer all, has you picked up online. See that all over the news. You know, it's some pretty scary stuff. They locked down like nursing homes and hospitals, businesses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what right. are you saying? So those are the viruses which, you know, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> Jinx, you owe me a Coke. You know, I was just to say, uh, how, how though? Like how, okay, so you're saying there's a virus on my computer um, and some type of ransomware, um, which is pretty scary, but how does mm -hmm. it happen? As I just told you, they got into your computer. Uh, the virus, which has been, uh, you know, uh, which which your computer has picked up, they have damaged the internal security and the softwares of your computer, as well as the firewall of your computer. Right. Uh, of what your network damage? has been damaged. All right. I know. What What did they damage? Like my pictures or videos? No, sir. Your pictures and your videos are your data. All right. Okay. They have not damaged your data. They have damaged the internal properties of the Microsoft softwares. Oh, okay. Uh, which parts of them? Which part? You, yeah, you mentioned um, just now that the, the virus has damaged the internal properties of Microsoft. Um, just right. Just wondering to know which, which part of them. Let me just show it to you. Do you see over here the services yes. provided by the Microsoft? Do you see over here most of the services are stopped? Okay. Which ones are stopped? Let me just show it to you. Sure, no problem. Hello? Yes, I'm still here, so just bear with me for a couple of minutes. When was the last time when you get this computer checked up by the certified technician before? Say that again. 
when was the last time when you get this computer checked up by the certified technician before uh we've not we've not gotten it checked out by a certified technician before we just bought it maybe a year ago okay you sounds very tech savvy say that again you sounds very tech savvy and i guess you know what exactly problem was into your computer or uh, if there was no problem into your computer or not oh, i'm not very tech savvy you're much more tech savvy mm -hmm. than i am <laughs> okay so if you think i am tech savvy i know what exactly it happens to your computer and if i'm telling you that the firewall security is damaged we need to get it installed okay the firewall security of your computer has been damaged and we need to install that security and it will cost you 299 dollars and 99 cents uh okay uh what do we need to do then all right so in that case if you would like to get the firewall security in your computer installed the two hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents uh would be for one year. And if you would like to go for three years or five years, they have the different price. Okay. Which one you would like to opt for? Well let's see what the offerings are. For one year it is two ninety nine ninety nine. For three year it is five ninety nine ninety nine. And for five years it is eight ninety nine ninety nine. What are the prices? Could you write write them down there? Do you see that on the screen? Uh, I do. Looks like there's a bit of a deal if you do the five year. You think you guys mm -hmm. could lower it down to seven ninety nine ninety nine? No, I apologize for that, sir. There will be no discount. Okay, well, I guess I'll just do the five year. And one more we have that will be for your complete lifetime. In the lifetime, you will be getting, uh, like, let's say, if you dump this computer, if you get another computer, so the securities will be transferable. So that this will be for complete lifetime. So you don't need to worry about anything for your entire life. In case okay. if you get a new device, if you get a new computer or anything like that. So you just need to give us a call and you just need to let us know that I have got a new device. I would like to transfer the securities to a new device as well. So we would be transferring the securities to the new computer, all right, or to the new device. Moreover, there will be regular checkup. In every two months, we will be giving you a call and we'll be servicing your computer in every two months to make sure that the securities are up to date. There is no problem. Okay. Along with that, there will be antivirus protection which will be given to you for your entire life so that you do not have to renew any antivirus program every year or something. Are you still there? I'm here. Right. Along with that, encryption layer would be given to you on your IP address. Do you understand what exactly encryption layer is? I don't. I mean, I've heard the term encryption. It sounds Let's like it say down if down. you are logging into your... Let's say if you're logging into your email address, uh, like in this way, at gmail.com, after this, all your in information would be recorded on your IP address, like in this way, so that no one can see any of your information. Let's say if you are shopping online, punching your card details, like in this way, so all your information would be recorded on your IP address, like in this way. So even if someone will get connected to your computer or to your IP address, they won't be able to see any information, to, they won't be able to get your personal details, because everything would be encrypted. And for the entire lifetime, this will be for one two nine nine. Okay, uh, boy, that's a lot of money. I can understand that's a lot, lots of money, but this is for your entire life. You do not have to renew in every five year or every three years. This is completely lifetime. Okay. So what was wrong with my computer after all? Uh, I'm so sorry what what was wrong with my computer after all what did the scan show? so the firewall security has been broken there is no firewall security on your network so we are we have to install the firewall security doesn't that typically come with a computer i'm not really sure no 
It does no. come. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Well, I need it, you know. I need to so protect my computer. Like so. Yes. I think I'll just do the lifetime. Okay. So if you would like to register yourself for the lifetime one, you need to provide a few details such as your name, your email address where you would like to get all the documentation to be sent, sure. Sure. your billing address where all the hard copies would be sent to you. Uh -huh. Along with that, you need to provide the phone numbers so that we can call you in every two months to service your computer as a regular sure. checkup. So please go ahead and fill all this information by your own. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass after all. I appreciate it though. I'm so sorry. Come again? I think I'm just going to pass on the coverage. I appreciate your time, though. But what exactly happens? Yeah, I just don't really do scams very well. Oh, okay. But it was a really... Uh, Anything else? It was a good opportunity to waste your time, though. I get, we got to spend some quality time together for a half an hour. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're just do you think I just scammer. came to know about this now? Do you think I just came to know about this now? Oh, I know you knew. But at least it wasted your time, you know? <laughs> I knew this from the beginning of the call, you of know? Of course. Well, if you knew from the beginning of the call, I, I... why spend a half an hour to go through all the, the hoops, you know? You just were bored? Because I don't have any, I don't have any other work today. Really? <laughs> we are not getting calls today. You don't have any yeah. other victims to take. Wow. Well, I'm. I'm glad not to today. at least. We are not, not getting. Today. We are not getting much traffic today. Sometimes it happens. We are not getting enough traffic. Uh, you know, I. I checked the configuration of your computer, and when I yeah. checked, uh, yeah. it's a Core i9, and all. I, I knew it. Uh, even even from your voice, I I, I came to know yeah. that uh, who you are. Who, who am I? <laughs> well, heck, who am I? All right, so. From the beginning, from the beginning, from the beginning, I knew it. You are no the calls, friendliest. But... I have to say, you are the friendliest scammer. I've been called a lot of motherfucker today, and you bitch, and fuck your mother, all this stuff. But you haven't told me to fuck <laughs> off today. But the question is, why, honestly, why do this? Like, dude, you, there's so many things you could do with your time. So many things. Right? Like, it's a lot of money that it takes. Why do people. this? Uh, what do you mean by why, why do this? Why... You're obviously, you scam people, right? But you could use those skills for other things in life. So why, why do this? Why not do, why not actually work for Microsoft and actually help people? You know I mean? We can actually work for Microsoft, bro. But, but you know, the kind of money uh, we make here in this one. I, but there's a lot of that's, ways that's to make money. Is. There's a lot of ways to make money. Absolutely. But why? There are. But, but you cannot wait, make five thousand, ten thousand dollars in a day. But that doesn't mean it's morally right, you know. So say you're hanging out with your family. You you probably have a mom. You probably have mm -hmm. a dad. You probably have siblings or brother or sister. What do mm -hmm. you tell them? What do you say to them when you say, they say, "Hey man, how was work?" And you said it was. We tell them we are going on a job, What's but that? which job they don't know. They don't know. They don't know. I mean, no. You, you probably couldn't tell them what you do, right? I mean, that would be, they probably wouldn't approve. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm not trying to insult you, man. I'm just, I'm just trying to appeal to your moral, what we all have as human beings. Who don't want to? But, uh, but, but who the, don't want to work genuinely? Everyone, right? The the country where I am in, you know, uh, we do get really less payouts, and uh, yeah, as as compared to in United States, uh, you know, you guys get hardly payout, right? If I would have been in U.S., I would have been living a uh, life genuinely, but. Mm -hmm. Everyone has their own dreams, right? I feel you. That has I to be fulfilled. I, I get right. that. I get that. I really do. But why not come here? Why not come here and, and you know, and live those dreams? 
get a visa. We're open. Send Who will help you? You are going to help? Well, obviously, I can't help you. But what about, you know, like a work visa or come for college, you know? I have tried, though, but the United States denied. They did? Why? Yeah, I have tried uh, when I was in high school and uh, I wanted to do graduation yeah. from United States. Uh, but somehow, uh, I don't know for what reason, they rejected my visa two times. And uh, I was I, I was genuinely working for uh, Microsoft process. But uh, then one of my friend came to me and he was like, you know, the kind of money you are getting in a month here, uh, you can just get it in in one day or two day maximum. So I started working uh, yeah. and, uh, and and I realized uh, really how much money a person can make here in a day. So yeah, I, I, I wanted to fulfill my dreams. Everyone has their own dreams, right? What's your bro? dream, man? What's your dreams? What do you want so, to do with yourself? What are your dreams? Uh, want to be independent and uh, have a good life, bro. A secure, secure life, right? Yeah. I know it is not secure now, but yeah. uh, maybe we can get it secure soon. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I know uh, at the same point uh, what we are doing is is really wrong. If if that would have been happened to my family, uh, I would have been very angry as well right so yeah, dude, yes sure. on the same point we do know that that this is wrong but yeah sometimes life gives you no choice all right yeah i i mean we always have a choice right we always have a choice you know yeah we do we do we do no you know, one I... wants to be a thief right no one wants to be a killer no one wants to be uh uh no one wants to do crime happily right but yep. uh there are things which which gets a person into it it's just but to be very honest with you uh, whenever you know i'm i'm just speaking out uh i don't know why i'm talking to you for long but uh as i just told you from the beginning uh since you just said my name uh i knew that this is a prank call yep. and uh uh you know i don't i don't do scam more than like thousand dollars or twelve hundred dollars because uh you know that depends upon the person how wealthy he is right but when i look at my colleagues uh and uh, i do remember last week uh, uh my colleague got sixty thousand dollar from a lady and that was Jesus. really frustrating uh she was really frustrated and uh, she was literally crying i was like uh, I, I was thinking about to leave this job and, you know, contact that lady and let her know each and everything, each and every detail. But sometimes you have to pull yourself back. Wow, honestly, that's devastating. $60,000. That's, yeah, uh, boy, I don't Absolutely. know what to say to that, you know, and it's a real shame. She was you know, like, "Hey, that... my son just died. My my son just died. Uh, you know, uh, last month due to COVID, and we don't have money." I was like, "I literally like, you know, uh, go on a leave or leave the office and contact that lady, but I had no other choice. If I lose my job, who is going to pay the expenses, each and everything? You have to yeah, take man. care of, right?" Yeah. To be very honest, I, I'm I'm just you know, telling you my yeah. heart out of here. You know, I'm just telling yeah. you because I I just wanted to do genuine job and yeah. I, I I don't feel like you know we have to change our location every day from yeah. this place to this place and do the yeah. jobs and do the shit. Yeah. Sometimes people come over and when they know that they have been scammed, they cry. You know, yeah. so I feel like I really feel like if if my parents had would have been at that place and uh okay anyways i mean can you imagine your mom being scammed out of sixty thousand dollars at this stage yeah 
No. It would be devastating, right? Yeah, I feel for that lady, man, to be honest. So, but I, I guess I'll leave you with this. Um, I don't agree with what you're doing, but I think that you have a choice, and deep down, I think you know it. And maybe one day you'll make the the right choice. I want to make something perfectly clear. What these scammers do is nearly unforgivable. They take advantage of the trust of honest people and rob them of their hard-earned money. During our conversation, there were moments where we were almost normal, maybe even a little cordial. And sometimes he seemed like he actually felt what he was doing was horribly wrong. But the question is, did that stop him from asking me for $1,200 for a fake security service just a couple of minutes ago? It didn't. Please take a moment to talk with your loved ones about this type of Windows support scam. Let's help protect our most vulnerable family members and friends. I hope this video now and the ones I make in the future help you and your family stay safe.